Hi, this is Ilma Art Studios photograph for today. A sunset that I caught while I was driving, so I had to go down and take a picture of it. Check my website for more artworks and photographs at ilmaarts.com. That's I L M A A R T S dot com. And today I would like to share with you my poem devotional extracted from Psalm 51, verse 15. It says, Unseal my lips, O Lord, that my mouth may praise you. Here's my poem. Let me speak only of praise. Make my lips speak only of your words. Protect my mind from the corruption of the world. Let my whole being meditate on your faithfulness so I can speak only of your praises. Do not let my mind linger on my needs. Bless me so I can, I can sow good seeds. Let me speak only to give you glory. Let me never tire of ch sharing my life's testimonies. And here's my essay. There are many fruits of the Spirit that show that someone is a believer. The fruits of the Spirit are mentioned in Galatians, such as kindness, gentleness, patience, um, goodness, self-control, joy, love, peace, and faithfulness. You can also gauge in uh, an authentic believer by what they say. They usually speak the truth based on God's Word, and you won't hear curses or filthy words in their mouth. The psalmist in Psalm 51, 15, prayed to the Lord that his lips would only say praises. How can this be practically applied in our modern day setting? I think that if one has developed a relationship with Christ, one becomes spiritually mature. Do you know Jesus intimately? Do you follow his commands? and emulate what he did. The enemy wants to steal any truth that you have learned. Guard it. Prayer. Lord, I surrender my mouth to you. Reflection. How can a believer learn to control his tongue? Oh, um, that is a very hard question to reflect on. I think that, that I used to really be, um, uh, I, some things come out of my mouth because probably I was uh, in denial that I was so angry for so long. So um, it, I usually say cousins when I was still a, a non-Christian. And when I became a teacher, it was such a big deal because I was teaching in a Catholic school and I, I, I learned how to control my mouth by um, changing the way I think. If I constantly think of um, criticism or something that would um, reject somebody, I try as much to um, filter that in a different way. Um, uh, but, but by thinking how, how what I will say will affect them. And this was, uh, we took this up in child psychology as well, because even the way you f phrase how you're saying something makes a lot of difference as to the effect or to the effectivity of your teaching method or as to reaching out to a student. So um, my job for 15 years as a teacher allowed me to... Um, filter my mouth with the words that should only encourage other children or, you know, uh, my students. So it became a habit and then um, when I came to Canada, there is a different culture and you hear such words as well, although I'd like to be proud of the country that I moved to who, and that I'm, I became a Canadian citizen now, how polite and how... Um, and tactful Canadians are, and that helps. But 
in this uh, verse, it says that the only thing that should come out of our mouth is praise of the Lord. Wouldn't that be so perfect if everybody just talk about the truth of God and praise Him? Because I think that if we do that, then there will be less chaos, less conflict, less um, criticisms in this world, but only um, to build up somebody, to encourage someone, and especially to give glory to the Lord. Thanks for watching, and I hope that you check my website at ilmaarts.com. That's I-L-M-A-A-R-T-S.com. Have a wonderful and blessed day.